All right, you guys, so last time I showed you how to uh, show images from another um, table, like you can see here. These images change depending on what value I choose in this little drop down here. But what if you would like to show multiple images um, instead of only one? If you want to uh, have multiple images show up, uh, let's go to File, Manage, Database and have a look at what it is that I have here. I've got a task table with um, some related um, warning table here. And I've got two different table occurrences for the two different techniques, which you can see in my previous video. Now I would like to add a way to select multiple warnings. So I'm going to say warning ID FK multiple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a text field and not a number field. I'm going to create this text field and then I'm going to go, oops, I think I may have made a mistake here. And I'm going to go into my relationship and what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just control drag this one down because I'm just going to create another, another um, table occurrence here and I'm going to call this one warning tasks multiple. There you go. And I'm going to relate this one to this multiple field right here. ID, there you go. Now I'm going to go to File, Manage, Layout, just to make a new layout. It looks like I've already got one. Yes, from my previous test. So I've got this layout duplicated already, so I'm going to just uh, delete all of this. Don't really need it. I'm going to add this field right here. This is my multiple fields. There you go. Can't type anymore. All right, so I've got my field. Now, how can I select multiple related values? I can go and make this a checkbox set and I'm gonna say give me my warnings by ID and I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger there you go this is pulling up my related warnings and now I can select multiple warnings great now how do I show these multiple images I'm going to go to edit layout and I'm gonna create a portal so I'm gonna make a portal tool I'm gonna to set it here and I'm gonna make it kinda of big and give me my warning tasks multiple and I don't need any of these things I'm just gonna make this five rows okay and then I'm gonna add from warning tasks multiple I'm gonna add my image okay that's looking kinda good let's make this one a bit bigger let's see how large this one is the width of 100 by 100 should be good or it might be a little too big. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's say 80 and by 80. That way my portal fits right here. And now let's go and have a look what this does. Let's go for chill. This shows me one. I've got another one, and if I click this one, it'll pop up in the middle. There, now I can choose basically any one I want. The an annoying thing is the big white space, so let's see if we can do something about that. First of all, let's go to the image, let's go to appearance, and let's select as a fill, transparent, and as a line, none. That's already gonna be good. Let's do the same thing for the portal. Let's say for a fill, it's already none, so let's leave that at none. And then let's here choose the portal row. And let's say that this one needs to be transparent. Or maybe it can be none, I think that's the same. And if we try this now, then uh, all my uh, icons are showing up. And whichever one I choose, it just shows up at the bottom. So there you go, that's uh, one way to do it. This might not work all the time because you do need a bit of room here. Um, to make this work and it only kind of goes down unless you make um, what you could also do is you could control drag this over here 
you could probably say show me initial row let's say number two and let's say number of rows one then you could kind of um, make that work as well because now that second value is going to show up uh, at least well this is my first value this is my second value second value is going to show up here so I could if I want just control drag this over here as well and then always just say in the portal settings give me initial row 3 and if I make this one smaller number of rows 1 then this might work as well so I've got my three values showing up like this in the different portals so this is these are like two different ways where you can do this same kind of technique and you will now I've only got three of those so I should copy them a few times more in order to get all five and if you want you could probably then uh, just put these guys in different places on your layout if you want to get creative five there you go there you go so now you've got all of your uh, all of your little dudes showing up and now you can just kind of move them around so you could choose either one row of uh, five uh, or one portal with five rows or just five different portals set, all set to a different initial initial row so this is these are two ways to use a portal to show some related images with some um, cool icons in there <laughs>